schedule up for one fall. And will be refereed by the handsome Stuart Garvey. They didn't like you. They liked you less when I called you handsome. We're switching. Are we live? Good, because that, that scared me and I'm trying to recover. <laughs> Making their way to the ring first. <laughs> Our next matchup featuring a couple of incredible young athletes that you will be more than familiar with if you've been tuning in every month to love pro wrestling. Heading out to the ring first, T.Y. Jackson, and you can see, accompanied by Judge Ben Omen, T.Y. Jackson is, let's say, affiliated with the Rads. Now, I'm not sure if Ben knows exactly what season we're in here, but it's November 25th. We had freezing rain earlier today. I'm not sure what this ensemble is all about, but nonetheless, I'm not a fashion critic. But T.Y. Jackson, have to admit, associating with the Rads may be a very, very good career move for this young man. And he's set to square off with one of the most popular athletes. One of the most popular young competitors here in Love Pro Wrestling. Still looking for that first win, but nonetheless has been captivating the crowd with his high-flying style and his never-give-up attitude, and that is Son of Irish. emerging from the curtain to the delight of the crowd here in Edmonton. I think this one might be too close to call. No love lost. You see them getting right in each other's faces. Judge Ben Omen in the corner of T.Y. Jackson, but son of Irish brought a little equalizer of his own. I don't know, is, that, is that a shillelagh? I don't want to be disrespectful. I'm not sure what to call that, but I know it'll do a lot of damage if it's swung at your skull. We are getting set to get down to business. <laughs> Not just a little bit of trash talking and a little bit of head to head jawing back and forth. Ben Owen instructing T.Y. not to not to take it personally as the booze rain down from all four corners of the rec room. Yeah, this one's not even close. But it's not about who's most popular, it's about who can put the shoulders down to the mat for the three count. Jackson taking control of the arm, but Irish 
spoken many times about the dexterity and the athleticism. There's just a small example. Jackson with the arm dragon. In his best interest to try to keep Irish right where he is, grounded on that mat. I mean, T.Y. no stranger to athleticism and high flying. Irish able to flip him over, maintaining that control of the wrist into the Northern Light suplex. Shoulders are down and quickly. Jackson realized that's not a place he wanted to be. It's a little shaken up early on. Ooh, that's just a hard right to the jaw. Nothing pretty about that. Overhand chop. Reversing that whip. Shoulder tackle from Irish. And he's feeling it tonight. Bucking that clothesline. Caught him with the power bomb. I think T.Y. was maybe going for a, a head scissors. Quick thinking from Son of Irish to catch him into that set of power bomb. Clothesline over the top. Down to the floor goes T.Y. And if I know Son of Irish, he's not going to stay in the ring for long. Suicide dive. Right on target. And could this be the night that that string of L's comes to an end? Quickly dispatched back in the ring is T.Y. Jackson. Keep an eye on Irish on that ring apron. Springboard flying forearm right on target. Going to go for the cover. Could be done already. T.Y. out of two. Ben Omen looking a little unsettled out on the floor. Irish charging in with that running knee lift. And he has definitely gotten the better of T.Y. early on. Jackson reversing that Irish whip into that schoolboy. Kick to the ear. Irish crumpled down. That might have done more damage than we think. Vertical suplex. And just like that, the tide has turned. Two count only, says Stuart Garvey. Jackson putting the bad mouth on SOI. Now wisely, by any means necessary, just keeping Irish down on the canvas. Keeping him off his feet, he's gonna have a much better chance to win. Double leg drop, gonna go for a cover. T.Y.'s fellow Rad's teammates. Rich King and Lumberjack Larry gonna defend those tag team titles coming up shortly against the Bollywood Boys. Stick around for that. Charging the ropes, drop kick. That's That's right there, yeah, yeah, yeah. The head of Son of Irish snapping off that middle rope as he hooks that leg. T.Y. arguing that cadence of the referee's count. You see him trying to slow that pace down. Irish trying to fight up from underneath with right hands. But he just gets cut off. Another high impact move, that neck breaker. And quickly again, wisely going for a cover. And even though Irish kicking out at two, he's got to exert a lot of effort to keep those shoulders off of the canvas. Fans letting T.O.I. know exactly what they think of him and it is not a lot. And again, Irish fighting up from underneath with the right hands. Staggering Jackson into the corner. Reversing that whip, sending Irish into the corner. Up and over. Ducking those rights and lefts. Irish swinging wildly. 
rolling into the ring and hitting that neck breaker very nicely done and he knows it admiring his handiwork before going for another cover and again Irish using a lot of energy in that lower half of his body to try to kick the weight of T.Y. off him and you can see Jackson just in his body language confidence is growing as he's able to string together more offense Irish charging the ropes, ducking that clothesline, ducking that back elbow. But that elbow on target and up to his feet. That's that's how that one. Going for another cover and again. Now at two. Look at T.Y. looking like the cat that ate the canary. Perhaps maybe taking a little bit too much time, but he's delighting and looking at the faces of some of the young children on ringside as they're concerned about the well-being of Son of Irish. There's a rumor going around that T.Y. sucks. It is unsubstantiated at this point, but I will keep my eye on it in the future. Hard kick. I know you like that, boys. I did like that. I'll tell him whatever he wants to hear. Irish again using those strikes to try to buy himself some time and again getting cut off with a hard elbow. And those eyes of Irish are glassed over as he is scooped. Paraded around the ring before slammed down to the canvas. T.Y. looking to go high risk into the corner where we see Ben Ullman skulking around. Can we trade Ben for Dr. Kyoto? And like a bag of pucks and future considerations? Nonetheless, T.Y. taking a bit too much time and Irish following him up. They're battling it out. Perch on that middle rope. Irish crashing hard down on the canvas. T.Y. looking to follow through with his original plan, but again, getting cut off with that kick to the side of the head. Spanish fly from the middle rope. I mean, that took a lot out of both men. You can see Irish favoring that rib area. He reached deep down for that one. He paid the price, but go big or go home. Stuart Garvey administering that 10 count. There are signs of life from both men. Irish back up to his feet. T.Y. not far behind. Leaping clothesline on target. And Son of Irish getting that second win. Using that speed. Snapping off that vertical suplex. Deciding not to go for a cover. Making his next move, standing shooting star right on target, hooking that leg deep. Not enough. And now you see in the body language of Son of Irish, his confidence growing. You have to imagine he wants that W bad. I mean, it's been a year, a year of losses, a year of frustration, a year of being so close and yet so far. T.Y. up to the middle rope, caught right in the small of the back, but snapped his head back. Up on the shoulders of Son of Irish. Landing him down, right on the back of his head, deep cover. T.Y. out at two, and you gotta give T.Y. Jackson credit. He's been on the receiving end a lot of high impact offense and still able to get the shoulder up. And 
Son of Irish going to what he knows best. That high risk offense off the top. He figures that's his best bet to get it done. Locking on target, 450, landing on its feet. He saw T.Y. was going to get out of the way. I think he might have jammed an ankle or a knee there. Jackson running and hit that kick to the back of the head. Shoulders are down. And T.Y. Jackson capitalizing on the mistake. T.Y. Jackson capitalizing on the mistakes that the Irish made and getting a big victory. LPW challenge champion Mitch Clark showing some love to young T.Y. Jackson as it's been Omen. And the pain from Son of Irish continues. As he's going to finish off the calendar year 2022 with another loss on the record. Whereas I believe the star of T.Y. Jackson about to grow. Uncalled for. All those nerds in the back that encourage you, all these dorks out here that cheer for you, for one reason, they're just like you. They're losers, and you're a loser. You have a match. You know what? I got three words for ya. Quit the business. That's a little stiff. Mitch Clark going to be taking on the golden boy, Travis Williams, later on tonight. And you have to think those words might just be cutting right to the bone of Son of Irish. I mean, as much as I hate to admit it, there's a little bit of truth in what he said. He has yet to be victorious in Love Pro Wrestling. Yikes. That's not how I want to spend my Friday. And you have to feel for young son of Irish. The eyes tell the story. I mean, he's being given respect from the fans, but the eyes say another night, another show. And Another time just coming up a little bit short.